Hi, my name is Jean and this is my channel, Learn With Jean. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you and show you and walk you through step by step how to create an online course using Descript. As you've seen me talk about in a few videos before, how you can use Descript to repurpose content, do webinars and presentations. And now I'm going to show you how you can apply the same process of templates into mapping out your online course. What I love about Descript is that it really is a great all in purpose tool. You don't need to go learn Canva. You don't need to learn PowerPoint. You need, you don't need to go learn a ton of different tools. Descript is your one tool for all your content creation needs because they really build in a lot of AI features so that you can summarize your course topic presentation and repurpose it into your marketing website, landing page, copy, and so much more. I use it a lot in so many different projects for clients, for my own YouTube videos and for client collaboration. And that's why I personally really enjoy using it. And I don't really spend a lot of time trying to learn or master other tools because this really simplifies everything. The other bonus is that what you can do is you can also work backwards is take an existing presentation from PowerPoint and modify some elements by adding um, an introductory slide, a closing slide. Uh, that's what I've done with other projects is I've added an introductory slide without any media or basically no audio, just like an introductory kind of visual slide. And then I've also added a closing slide and then like PowerPoint, I can add my own text. I can add the logo I can add images and I can adjust the timing. And so it's really just like any other tool, but much easier, much simpler. And it really uh, builds in a lot of features that course creators and content creators need. I hope you enjoy this video and if you like Descript and you enjoy these tutorials, leave a comment below and let me know what you're interested in seeing and also check out the affiliate link if you'd like to support this channel. Thanks for watching and let's get started. I'm going to walk you through step by step how to start and create a online course in Descript. I'm going to reference some of the terminology that you may be familiar with in PowerPoint and show you what the similar terminology and usage might be in Descript so that you can have a visual overview. So first of all, as you can see, I've started a brand new project. If you were to do this on your own, you would just log into Descript and then go to new and then go to video project. Uh, but I've started this so that we can save a little bit of time on this video uh, so that you're not stuck waiting. So one thing that might be helpful is in PowerPoint, when you're creating your online course, you click on new presentation. Now here we start with new video project. And in this video project, I started with five scenes. Now you may think of scenes as uh, slides and you can think of slides as lessons so that each scene corresponds to one slide and one slide corresponds to one lesson. So in my uh, slide, my first slide and scene, I've called this an introduction slide. This is my kind of get to know you. I'm introducing myself as your instructor. I uh, tell you a little bit about the course and what we're going to talk about, what we're going to learn. And in this, what I'm going to do is, as you can see, they're really when they start out each scene, uh, just to give you an overview, when I start out each scene, I have to add a backslash. And originally there was no, originally it's black, as you can see here. And so what I've done is customize the background color and applied a template. This is what's really important is the first step you want to do is to, after you created a after you start a new video project, you want to go into the templates and then pick this one as an example to start off with. The reason why I like this one, not this. So first of all, you want to go into your, first of all, after you create a new project, after you start the new project, you want to then choose a template so that you can customize the look and design of each scene. This is important because you want to have a clear brand and clear distinction to your course slides so that people can reference that as part of your online brand and online business. So if I just pick this one, I can see there's lots of different options. And I just picked this one as the most simplest version to start out with. 
So now that you see, I started out with this simple version of a title and a subtitle. And then what I've done is take an example uh, from a project and inserted the client logo to my template. So if I am building this online course, what I would do is then to insert this logo, I would click on this media icon button and then click on add files and then look for the logo in my hard drive and then uh, add it here. So now that I've added this logo, what I can do is Whereas maybe in PowerPoint, you may have to create a slide master so that each logo appears on each slide. The easiest thing to think about is in Descript, once I've uploaded the logo, I can drag this. Now this is the tricky part, is looking for this arrow, and then you drag it all the way across so that it goes and applies to every scene. This makes it easy so that you don't have to copy and paste 10 times, you just apply it once and then drag it to the rest of the scene slash timeline that you want it to show up in. Most likely you want your logo on all your slides, so that's a good reference. Then if you would like, maybe you decide to add a copy right on the bottom. So what you can do is take a subtitle. So they give you little tips here and there, but we don't care right now. You can take this subtitle as a text box and then copy it and I can duplicate it here. And then what I can do is use this and call this like my copyright. Uh, this makes sure that people know that they can't steal and repurpose or redistribute my content. Uh, and so maybe I decide to make this a different color so that it doesn't always blend in with the title and subtitle. But that's just as an FYI, that's something I would recommend is have your logo up here, have a title and subtitle and the copyright 2024 learn with Jean. And so now I know the white isn't the most clearest example, but we can always change the color later. And now what I'm gonna do is show you what you can do with the rest of it. I created this copyright and then I can apply this copyright to the entire presentation because I'm going to want the copyright to show up on all the slides. So again, I'm gonna follow that same logic and apply it to all my scenes. And so now the copyright will show up on all of these slides that I've dragged it onto. And so sometimes it can be hard to see your timeline, so you can use your mouse to shrink it and make sure that it gets applied to the rest of the presentation. I've done up to part of the way just so that you can see how it looks. So let's just say this is the beginning module chapter of my online course and I have six lessons. Now if I want to add more, I can hit return or enter and add a backslash and then I can start a new slide and scene and say, I, this will be like, I am hoping you gain the knowledge and skills to jumpstart your business. I didn't type this well, but just so you know. And then the idea is I'm typing out the script and then later on what I can do is go in and record this script again over this text. So I can use this as a teleprompter and guide, or if I don't want to record my voice, I can uh, use the AI voice. So I've recorded and saved my voice into Descript and I can apply that to this online course. Once you're done and you like the design, you like it, maybe you decide you could add some music to the beginning scene then what I would do is highlight the scene that you want to add music to, go to media, I'll look for audio, and then just pick through the different sound library. And if you don't like any of the sounds, you can look for maybe sound effects, but I would definitely add music at the beginning and at the end of your course scene slide, because it's a good way to give different kind of feeling and experience to an online course. And it adds a little bit of an effect and enhancement. So that's just a quick overview on how you can create your online course in Descript step-by-step. -step. As a recap, you want to start out start off with creating a new video project, apply a template from the template library, add your logo, add a copyright on the bottom, 
and then have your title and subtitle. So title could be lesson title and then subtitle could be like your instructor name. And then when it's all done, you can publish it. And this is a great way to preview it. And I like this way of publishing it because this is a good way to, you know, collaborate and show people without getting them into Descript, which a lot of people may have uh, trouble with if they're not familiar with using Descript. And so once you hit publish, then you can uh, get a link. So I copy this link and then I can show my, I can show other people. And let me show you what that looks like. So what I've done is I copied the link and I pasted it here and we can take a look. I'm gonna put the sound off so that it's not too much conflicting while I may have some commentary. So you can see my introduction, my title, my subtitle slide, plus the copyright. And then I, you can continue to iterate and you can see these are the different scenes from Descript and that you can continue to edit and refine. But basically, I like the idea that you can create it in Descript and apply the logo and then apply your copyright and then it'll render and then you can see how long the video is. Right now it's 16 seconds, obviously I need some more text, uh, but that's just an easy way to see what it looks like and if you like it later on, you can export it uh, to YouTube or you can export it to um, as an mp4 or audio. I really like the transcript sometimes because the format allows me to collaborate with someone who doesn't know how to use Descript but just wants to read the transcript and says, okay, I think this part is too wordy or whatnot. And then afterwards, what I would recommend is to take advantage of the AI and ask AI to summarize this so that you have some text and copy to use on your website. And then you can then take this and then repurpose this and duplicate this into different forms. So I could duplicate it to a new composition. And what I would do is once I duplicate it to a new composition, I can turn this into a 16 portrait, which is nine by 16. And I can make this a short form video reel. That is an overview of how to create an online course in Descript step-by-step step, and then how to repurpose it. Let me know if you have questions, comments, feedback, or want to see a little bit more about this. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.